Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, I got another Evansfield flannels jersey. This time it didn't come in this nice box, but it's all good. Um, I ordered this jersey on July 5th, so it's exactly eight weeks from when I ordered it. So um, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Like I said in the last video, uh, it takes them about six to eight weeks for you to get your jerseys because um, they do make them. Right when you order them is when they start making it. So it, it does take a minute, but it's a quality product that's worth the wait. Um, yeah, because you can't uh, put a rush on perfection. So, box so hard to open. God damn. Still did come in the nice packaging though. Ooh. And so as you see here, we got a San Francisco Seals 1934 Joe DiMaggio. So it's beautiful. And we'll get into the jersey in a moment. So unfortunately, this jersey is just huge on me. It's an XL. Usually I can wear an XL. So um, I'll just tell you now with the flannels, the baseball jerseys. Like I said, the football one that I got, um, that I showed a video of on Monday, um, it was big, but it wasn't huge. This one is huge. So I just can't wear it. So with the flannels, the baseball jerseys, I would say definitely size down. Um, size down, yeah. So if, let's say we we'll mention on this, if you were an XL, probably get a large. If you were a large, probably get a medium. Cause yeah, I can't wear this one, but I'm gonna do the video anyway, just cause I already have it. Cause I'm gonna have to send it back and uh, switch it out. Luckily they'll return it for me. But like I said, so it'll probably another eight, <laughs> eight weeks till I get this one. So the one that fits me, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna do the video anyway now. Um, so this is a Joe DiMaggio. Uh, number 10 uh, he played with the seals san francisco seals from 1932 uh, to 1935 um and this is a 1934 jersey um he uh first of all if you don't know what san francisco seals are there was a league called the pacific coast league where they would uh it was basically the west coast major league almost i mean it, it wasn't on the same level as the major leagues but it was close they would say they said um there were no teams on the West Coast at the time, so the Pacific Coast League was the team that you root for if you're on the West Coast. There was the Oakland Oaks, the San Francisco Seals, uh, there was the Hollywood Stars, there was uh, Sacramento. So a lot of the different uh, cities had different teams on the West Coast. So this kind of would be their teams. And the San Francisco Seals was San Francisco's team, along with they had the Mission Reds. Wait a second, that interruption. But um, so like I said. San Francisco Seals, Pacific Coast League, that was their team. Um, so one thing that's, uh, so if you see this is number 10, DiMaggio is known for wearing, that he wore number 10 on the Seals. But he also had jersey on Evans Field for him for the same year, 1934, where it's number five. Now, um, I know at least in 33, he wore number 10. Um, in 34, he possibly wore five, or he did wear five, but... It's, it's kind of hard to find specifics on those years of the Pacific Coast League because they didn't really do a good job of like keeping the numbers, like of keeping record of numbers correctly. So, but it, he is known more for 10 and I actually bought, uh, I have a Seals book that I, uh, it's pictures of the Seals throughout the decades and they did wear these jerseys before DiMaggio was with the team and during, the, while, and while DiMaggio was with the team. So even though this is considered a 1934 jersey, they also wore them in 32, 33, 31. So therefore at some point, he most likely did wear 10 with this specific jersey. So, but uh, now we'll get into the jersey. Uh, they do nice with the baseball flannels is that uh, they don't have a tag on the outside here. So they leave it where it, it looks like what it, you know, it's kind of just not, it's just the jersey. There's no extra stuff on the front, which is to me is nice. It's nice to just have the jersey with no tags here. In my opinion so if you see here you got your 
pinstripes. Got the dark gray uh, buttons. Oh yeah, and here you got your where it breaks apart both sides. Come up here, you got a nice stitched felt lettering. Nice and thick. And then you got your piping. You got one piping here. You got another piping on the outside. And this is, you can see it's, 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 it's two layers here. And then the piping goes down to there. And if uh, I've looked at pictures of these jerseys and of the players wearing them, and this is correct. The piping only went, this extra solid piping only went to the A down about here and then cuts off so they did that great job you got your double pipe in here just like they had on the jerseys on the sleeve come up here you got your ebbets field flannels vintage authentic seattle washington xl genuine wool baseball flannel dry clean only made in usa fortunately i'm gonna probably have to go with the large so um that sucks, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, my fault. It's my fault right there. Same thing, like if you watch my uh, Joe Perry 49ers jersey, they have your um, Ebbets Field ticket uh, right here. Same thing, Ebbets Field flannels, 100% handcrafted, 100% American made, Ebbets.com. Make sure you check them out. Got some great stuff. So this is just like a little tag that's supposed to be like a night game ticket at Ebbets Field. Let's go to the spec. Same thing, we got our pinstripes all the way to the bottom. You got your solid pipe in here, another solid pipe in here. So this is stitched, a separate piece. I don't know if it's separate, but it's kind of like rolled over and then stitched here. Same thing here, we got our single stitch, nice thick numbers, felt. Beautiful one, zero, nice and thick. So I said I might as well add this in the video. As you see, it's uh, pretty damn big on me. A little too big, so. Fine, like, yeah, I see. Um, I mean, I could wear a sweater under it and stuff, but still, it's just too big unfortunately so but i mean like they've told me they, they they do make the jerseys a little bigger because of the fact that i mean back in these days 50s 40s 30s all that that's how the players wore them they wore big jerseys so it's kind of to match that which i'm cool with but like i said i, I want it big it's not this i mean i don't mind it big it's not this this big but as you see so yeah unfortunately it's like i'm gonna have to send it back and wait another probably eight weeks luckily i won't have to pay it's just i said i don't I think I know I have to check that out, but either way, it's my fault. So send it back, wait a month and a half, two months, and get the other one. Luckily, this is a, a wool jersey anyway, so it's kind of too hot to wear now anyway. So by the time I get it in the probably beginning of November, it'll be nice, a little colder then, so I have more reasons to wear it anyway. But yeah, I mean, super uh, disappointed in myself for getting the XL and now i gotta wait longer but it was a beautiful jersey or it is a beautiful jersey i can't wait to get my replacement uh but i just want to say i might as well show the video i got the jersey so why why not show the video i mean it's still gonna be the same jersey i get so maybe i'll do an update video when i get the other one but yeah so this is a 1934 san francisco seals joe dimaggio jersey uh road jersey so that's that but uh thank you for checking in make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already uh, if you are subscribed, thanks for being subscribed and checking me out. Uh, everyone have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.